Hey guys, and welcome back to a little bit more Emerald City Confidential. Now, we've got uh, two new areas we can go to, Quadling Country or Winky Country. Now, I'm not really feeling like spending too much time at this, so we'll go to Quadling Country, because as we all know, red is fast. Quadling Country is considered to be Oz's natural preserve. Trees grow like wildfire and animals of all shapes and sizes roam the land. Some might consider that a good thing, but I've never been a fan of nature. Okay, explore Woot's Arena. There we go, I knew I saw a button there. The red trees of Quadling Country choke the surrounding area. Can't say much for the decor, but at least it's a sign of civilization in this backwards place. What's that? New copper rod. No idea what that's going to be used for. Come witness the magnificence of the mighty Mumbi tonight. Uh, there's really nothing else around. I don't want to go to the tower yet. Because I don't know what that's supposed to be, and it told me to go to Woots, so Mom, let's do that. baby, just relax. You're my star attraction, and I'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. Get rid of that wizard, then. Mombi, sweetheart, you're the tops. But you know I can't do that. He's allowed to be here as much as you. His presence irritates me. Mombi, you're the cream of the crop, and we all love you. But my hands are tied. You are a miserable worm. I'll be in the cafe. Call me when you find a challenger worth my time. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to be that challenger. Here we go, nice little button. There's a ring, there's the cafe. These posters are everywhere. This mumby broad sure gets around. Hello. Why, it's a citizen of the Emerald City, in my arena. How's the old place doing? You're from the city? Nah, but I've wandered through a number of times. In fact, that's my name, Woot the Wanderer, at your service. I'm Petra. Hmm. Why are you called Woot the Wanderer? You don't seem to be wandering anywhere. Well, in my younger days, I was quite the traveler. I came from a little village in Gillikin country. One day I left and never looked back. Where did you travel? Oh, I've seen places beyond your wildest dreams. The old days were full of wild and untamed magic. Sorcerers and witches and all sorts of crazy creatures. Ah, the world was full of wonder. Not like this regulated junk you get nowadays. I fought in the war just like everybody else. But nothing was the same after that. No, it wasn't. I wasn't the same either. I lost my taste for wandering. So, I set up shop here. What is this place? Oh, you mean you don't know? I just kind of wandered in. Well, I know all about wandering. You're standing in Woot's Wild Arena of the Arcane. It is here that the greatest wizards, witches, sorcerers, magicians, and conjurers come to do battle. Wizards and witches? You mean you organize magic duels? You betcha! It's a little taste of the old days, right here at Woot's Wild Arena of the Arcane. Aren't magic duels against the law? Of course they are! But I got a special license. As long as the duels are strictly regulated, we're fine. What kind of regulations? Just two, but they are biggies. Number one, no magic outside the ring. That's final. And number two, during the fight, only one spell can be cast at a time. Can't have magic spells mixing together. You never know what's going to happen. When is the next fight? Whenever I say it is. There are many magic users left, and our current champion is so good that nobody wants to face her. Well, nobody but the wizard. The wizard? The Wizard of Oz? Mr. Great and Powerful himself. Well, well, well. The Great Wizard of Oz now working at a pathetic magic duel arena in Quadling Country. 
An interesting development, that's for sure. I'm looking for something called a keystone. Do you know where it is? I've seen plenty of keys and my fair share of stones. But a keystone? I can't say that I do. Did an expedition team come this way? We get all sorts of crowds come through here. I wouldn't know one from the other. See you around, Woot. I love having to read everything for me. It saves me the time of actually doing it myself. Let's have a look around in here. A cake? That's bad for my figure. What else do you have? We have a light snack. No, be gone with that. I require something far more substantial. That's all we have left. You dare deny the great Mombi? We'll get more in tomorrow. See to it. God, she's a bitch. And she just stands there. Psst. Are you talking to me? Hey, lady, can you bust me out of here? You're a rope. I'm a prisoner is what I am. Can you help me out? I'll be very grateful. Huh. I thought I'd just look at the rope, but apparently I have to help him. Okay. How come you can talk? Because I'm a magic rope. Ask a stupid question. How'd you end up here? I was captured. Captured and subjected to cruel tortures. That joker down there? His name is Kiki Aru. He's a fake. He tied me into a permanent knot and forces me to dance. What's a permanent knot? It's a knot that can't be undone. I'm bound to him. He wants to pretend he's a wizard. Is it so bad? What does a rope need with freedom anyway? How would you like it if I tied your feet into a knot and forced you to dance? Ah, good point. What can I do to help? Do you know any unbinding magic? Sorry, no. I was afraid of that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, lady. Hmm. Let's have a chat to the rope charmer. Hey, I want to talk to you. He's totally enraptured in that flute. I won't get his attention this way. Oh, that's the spirit rod. No, I need the copper rod. No, don't think it's that. Okay, I'll find a way to get past him in a moment. The food they have on display looks pretty good. Evening. Uh-huh. What are you selling back there? Coffee. That's all? We got some food, too. What sort of food are you selling? We're offering a two-for-one special today. A slice of cake and a small snack. Only five emeralds. I'm looking for a keystone. Would you know where I can find it? I just work here. If you want food or coffee, I'm your girl. Otherwise, I got things to do. That's what I love about the countryside. The locals are so charming. Yeah, charming like a fucking big city bitch. What can you tell me about Mombi? Why don't you ask her yourself? She's right over there. Yeah, she's right over there being snobby. Give me the special. You got it. One heavy cake and one light snack. Hmm. Oof. That slice of cake weighs a ton. But that snack hardly weighs anything. Okay, well they're oh, part well. of some I kind of puzzle. That out. Thanks for your time, miss. Uh-huh. I don't know what kind of puzzle that's part of, but it's part of something. I'll have to figure it out. Hello. Who approaches? My name's Petra. I have some questions for you. Questions? How quaint. Very well. Ask. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, if big you insulting If you have to one. ask that question, you do not deserve an audience with me. Hold on. I know your name is Mombi, but who are you? I am a sorceress from Gilligan. Once upon a time, my magic was known to both enthrall and terrify. 
But those days are long gone. And what little glory remains is here, in this pitiful arena. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes, it does. Indeed, I'm it looking does. for a keystone. Do you know where it is? Perhaps I do. Perhaps I don't. Such is the way of magic. I need to find it. We all need lots of things. It's a shame I can't help you. Do you know anything about the tower outside? You mean Glinda's tower? It's an eyesore. I would have it torn down if I could. So that's the witch's tower, eh? We'll have to go out there. How did you get to be champion? By being the best, of course. Not that the rabble here are any challenge. Thanks for your time, Mombi. The pleasure was all yours, I'm sure. Can't use escape them on the rope, can we? I doubt it. No. Hmm. Well, looks like we gotta go to the tower because there's no way I can actually fight her in the arena yet. So we'll go to the tower, we'll see if there's that in there that'll help us fight her. There might be an unbinding spell in there. And when we're done at the tower, we'll come back, we'll kick her ass, we'll do whatever then. It's really... The tower stretches up as far as the eye can see. It won't budge. The door is made out of solid stone. Solid stone. It must be. It must open by magic. Okay, so it's not going to open if I shove that rod in there. Damn. Mm. No, nothing I have will really do that, and I'm not trapped in there, so I can't actually use that. Ooh, Tonkrock, what's that? Maybe it fits in the door. I don't think it's that. Hmm. 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 Let's see what Woot, Woot has to say. Yes? See you around, Woot. Nothing new. Okay. Let's go in here. Okay, no, so there's no, stuff going on. No! I am this close to giving up on you, Ugu! Uh... No talking, please! No talking! Try it again! You're not listening to me! Lead with your elbow! No! Your other elbow! You're hopeless! Come on, let her rip! No, no, no! In my day, we'd eat wizards like you for breakfast! Okay. Alright, let's try it again. Top of this post looks a little loose. Someone Lead should with fix the it. Elbow, support with the shoulder. Can I fix it with my copper rod? Watch your feet! I'll just replace this loose post. Oh, this if this detective gig doesn't work out, I could always go into stadium maintenance. Come on! Sweet! Um, I don't know why no, I did that. No, I hope it means no. I did good. Doesn't look like he's enjoying himself. And let's In talk to the wizard. Day, we did wizards like you for breakfast. Hey, you busy? Ooh, Who are you? Head. Well, Petra, Damn. I hope you're here to put me out Can't of my misery. Can't fucking up because we're talking. If not, I'm trying to teach this idiot how to fight. Ugo! What are you trying to do? Catch butterflies? Strike hard and fast. I want to see that wand smoke. Kids these days. It would no magic if it blasted them in the face. Who are you? Oh, how soon they forget. I'm known as the wizard, kid. The wizard? You mean the Wizard of Oz? That's right, but I'm just the wizard nowadays. Hmm. What's the Wizard of Oz doing in a place like this? What's that supposed to mean, huh? Every school kid knows the story. You used to rule Oz. What are you doing fighting in magic duels in the middle of Quadling Country? Okay, first of all, I don't compete, I just coach. And second of all, it's none of your business. Who's the kid? 
this overgrown lummox is Ugu. He's got a tiny bit of magic talent, and now he thinks he's a wizard. What sort of magic does he do? <laughs> Parlor tricks? He's, he's got some talent, he just doesn't have any brains to go with it. Do you think he'll get any better? <laughs> Not a chance. Oh, so why that's are you so bothering? mean, right next to him. See any other contenders around here? You work with what you got. Why are you just a coach? You should be in the ring. Yeah, and if wishes were gumps, we would all fly, right? Look, I'm all washed up. Those who can't do, teach. But still... Leave it! I used to read stories of the Great Wizard of Oz. He seemed so powerful and larger than life. I guess it's true what they say. You should never meet your heroes. I'm looking for a keystone. Keystone? What do you want with the keystone? You know about the keystone? <laughs> no, no, I don't. If you know anything, you've got to tell me. Such I'm a on a mission liar. from Queen Ozma herself to find them. <laughs> sure you are. Why doesn't anyone ever believe me? Look, just forget about the keystone, okay? Like the rest of Glinda's tower, it's locked up tight. So it's Glinda's in the tower. tower. I said forget it. Okay, so now I have to get into Glinda's tower. How do tower. I get into Glinda's tower? You can't. How do you know that? I used to work with Glinda. She taught me all the magic I know. We fought together in the war. I know how powerful she was. Nothing can get past the spell she put on that door. Not even me. So you knew Glinda? Knew her? Of course I knew her. When everyone called me a fake and a humbug, she took me in. She taught me everything I know about magic. And more. More? Forget it. Thanks for your time. They had sure, sex. Sure, sure. Ugo, did I say stop? All right, let's try it again. Okay, I can Lead take that Lead with now. the elbow, support with the shoulder. Now. Watch your feet. Oh, this is just Maybe if I show him the spirit rod. Come on, let her rip. Uh. Wizard. What do you want? Thanks for your turn. Oh, okay. no, no, no. So I can't actually... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe if I show him... Come on, let her rip. The stone. No, no, no. no. Can't show him the stone. Okay. Woot? Yes? Uh... How do you get into the tower? Oh, you mean Glinda's tower? Well, you can't. Why not? You need a key to open it. And let me guess, the key is lost. Not at all. I uncovered the key myself. So where is it? Mombi's got it. The key's always given to the champion of the arena. If you want that key, you'll have to speak to Mombi. See you around, Woot. Okay, so there we go. There's the fucking kicker. I gotta beat her. Oh, there's a button here. I didn't notice that last time. Gotta beat her and fucking get Mom the key. Me. You have more irritating questions, I suppose. Yes. Very well. Ask, but be quick. Give me the key. I need the key to Glinda's tower. The keystone is in there. And why should that be my concern? I'm on a mission from Queen Ozma herself to find it. Are you? How brilliant. So by denying you, I'm also denying Ozma? In that case, no. I shall not give you the key. If you want the key, you'll have to get it like everybody else. By defeating me in the ring. Yay. Thanks for your time. The That's exactly what I want to do. Now I've got to go talk to the wizard and get him to give me a couple of spells to fight her in the ring. At least that's the plan. We'll see if it actually works like that now. Come on, let All right, her wizard. Rip. Don't want to waste your time with this wizard. Ugu character anymore. What do you want? Mombi won't give up the tower key. Yeah, I know that. Now why do you think I'm working so hard to breed a champion that can beat her? I've got to get that key back. I just have to. 
That tower doesn't belong to Mombi, it belongs to Glinda. If only I could find someone who stands a chance against her. Me! Thanks for your time. Sure, sure, sure. Ugo, did I say no, no, no? Okay, um. Maybe if I just set up a Woo? duel. Yes? I want to fight. You know magic? Sure. I got magic coming out of my ears. All right. Just have your coach register with me and you're in. Brilliant. Coach? I don't have a coach. Ah, uh, no coach. No fight. There if we it go. were up to me, I'd throw you into the ring with no questions asked. But it's about liability, see? You need a licensed coach to vouch that you're ready to fight. Yay, get a coach. See you. There's only one coach around. Come on, let her rip. Yeah, 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 let her rip. Wizard, get the fuck out of my ring. What do you want? I need a coach. Oh, you do, huh? As you can see, I've already got my hands full of coaching this lump. Why should I coach you instead? Let's see, it's a hard choice of what to say, but I'm pretty sure... When I win, I'll give the tower key to you. You what? All I need is a keystone. Teach me how to win, please. Well, you've got the drive and the motivation to win, but do you have the ability to back it up? I won't know until I try. Alright, kid. Here's what we'll do. You face Ugu here in the ring. If you can at least beat him, then maybe you're worth something. Yeah, it shouldn't be too tough. Let's do this. Right. Get in the ring, kid. All right, kids. -da -da this is how it works. You stand still. No walking within the ring. This is a contest of magic skill only. You use your brain, not your fists. You got that, Ugo? We don't want a repeat performance of last time. Um... Now, as the challenged party, Ugu cast the first spell. What the? Now, well, use magic to counter Ugu's spell. Great, because I only know one spell. I better find a way out of this prison, quick. Can I examine the box? I've got to get out of this thing quick. Easy. Uh, what? How did she do that? She used <laughs> magic, you imbecile. You should try it sometime. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I give up. Ugu, you're out of here. Hit the benches. Find another coach. Uh, okay. All right, wow, so he's you're stupid. a better spellcaster than Ugu, but that's not saying much. If you want to take down Mombi, you'll need a spell with a bit more oomph. Oomph? There's this spell. I call it Sap. Sap. It works great against magic users. It takes a bit of their energy away. It's the mental equivalent of exhausting your opponent. But you need to cast it several times for it to work on someone like Mombi. You'll need to find ways of countering her attacks until the spell takes effect. Hmm. Okay, well... Hey, Coach. Can we say hey. anything else to him? Okay, uh... You think Ugu's gonna start gunning for me? Ugu? Nah. When I kicked him out, he had a huge smile on his face. He's just not cut out for this business. Maybe you are. Why do you hate Mombi so much? That witch doesn't deserve Glinda's tower. And you do? She goaded me, years ago. She told stories about Glinda. Said disrespectful things. I lost my head. I used magic against her outside the ring. That was gutsy. Yeah, well, it achieved nothing. Woot could have had me arrested. He settled for banning me from the ring, so I became a coach instead. One day, I'm gonna train someone who can wipe the floor with Mombi. Maybe it'll be you, kid. Damn right it'll be me. Tell me more about yourself. Me? I'm not from around here. Grew up in America. America? Yeah, it's in a land far, far away from here. 
How I got here is another story in and of itself. I read the history books. You ruled Oz for years. Yeah, well, not by choice. When I got here, they thought I was a great wizard. Who was I to argue? But years later, they discovered I was a fake and I left in disgrace. That's when Glinda took me in. She taught you real magic. She taught me everything. They had sex. Glinda, tell me about her. Glinda and me were, well, close. See? She was my teacher. Perhaps something more. Damn we fought right. side by side in the war against the Fanphasms until she died for her trouble. Not a day goes by when I don't curse that war. I know the feeling. You lost someone too? Yes. My brother. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't brood so much about my own loss. Sometimes I forget that many people lost loved ones. Don't worry about it. Misery loves company. That's the truth. I found this strange rock. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I think that's a tonk rock. A tonk rock? Well, that's what Glinda called them. They were often used in unbinding spells. How do you use it? I'm not sure, but if I had access to Glinda's library, I could tell you. Your best bet, give it to someone else who might need it. Okie dokie. I'm ready to fight Mombi. Great. Go talk to Woot and you'll set it up. Thanks, coach. Go get him, kid. Okay, well, before I go talking to Woot, I'm going to try giving the rock to the rope. It probably won't do much. It might just fall on the dude's head down there. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Can this help? What's that? It's called a tonk rock. It's supposed to be used in unbinding. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Let me see that. Hey, Kinky Aru, you miserable rope torturer. Take this! <laughs> ha! Work like a charm. Yeah. That Knew was it. extreme. He'll be fine. Look, he's still breathing. By the time he wakes up, I'll be long gone. Glad to help. Well, it looks like I'm in your debt, lady. If you need to do any climbing, I'm your rope. Well, thank you, magical rope. Who winds its way around my crotch. Did I just adopt a pet rope? Hmm. Let's go look at the rope charmer real quick. And then we'll taunt He's Mombi. He's alive, but unconscious. I can't help but feel partially responsible. Oh well. Screw him. Now, <clears throat> obviously those cakes I got from her earlier Mombi, will... Mombi, you have more? Yes. We'll do something in the, the fight. Okay, so we, we can't talk. Uh, bu 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 bum. Guess it's just time to fight. We'll have to figure out what each of my little knickknacks does for me in the Ooh. ring. Yes? I've got a coach. I heard, I heard. Word travels fast around here. If you want to enter the ring to fight, just let me know. Yes, I, I do. I want to fight Mombi. You got it. Just head into the ring and I'll set it all up. Ladies and gents, welcome to another thrilling evening of magic, mystery, and mayhem. We got an exciting matchup for you tonight. In this corner, a rookie straight from the mean green streets of the Emerald City. She's the powerful purveyor of the paranormal. Petra! And in this corner, you all know her, you all love her. Lies. Plucked straight from the purple plains of Gillikin country, she dukes it out daily right here. She's the top of the heap in this arena, and she isn't going down without a fight. Give Lies. a hand for the return of the magnificent manipulator of mighty magics, Mumby! As returning champion, Mumbi gets the first move. Mumbi casts a magic shield. Oh, Petra's in trouble now. Hmm, we'll see. Petra casts a sap spell on the shield. 
great strategy. But it'll take a few more hits for that spell to work. Let's hope she lasts long enough. Mombi casts a wind spell. An old favorite, but an effective one. Petra better think of something fast. Yeah, I've got my heavy cake. She did it, folks! Petra outlasted the wind! But it's not over yet. They're just getting started. Yeah. Gonna use sap? Sap again! Up, but still holding! Aha! Monkey's okay. not out of the game yet! A magic hole! Oh, that. Yeah. Thank you, magic rope. Now get back in my crotch. She's out! She's out! Oops. Petra Boom. disabled the shield. What will Mumbi do now? She missed. Mumbi missed. What? Ha. How? Because I fixed that. Something tells me I would have had to use like the light cake or something. I don't know. Something along those lines. I don't believe it! She's down! Mombi is down! We are witnessing history tonight, folks. Mombi is down and Petra has emerged victorious! Ladies oh, and gents, yeah. give a hand for the new champion of Woot's Wild Arena of the Arcane, Petra! Sweet! What a show! That was incredible! She got lucky. Lucky or not, she's the champion now. Yes, she is. It's a good thing this girl was here to fight your battles for you. You arrogant witch! Just shut up, both of you. We've got the tower key. Let's go. This isn't over, wizard. I will win my prize back. Maybe you will, but not today. Let's get out of here. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. Nobody's been inside Glinda's tower in over 15 years. Nobody? What about Mombi? Mombi never cared about the tower. It was just a symbol to her. I hope the key still works. It better. Oh yeah! It opened! Praise Lurleen, it opened! Glinda, I'm coming! Crazy old man, wait for me! Damn right you better wait for me. Glinda's only gonna be there once I use my magic rod. And by that I do not mean my real life penis. <sighs> for an overweight Damn, geezer, a long way he's to go. Spry. Hey! You! Wait! Oh, look, I see a button. It's all destroyed. Just laid to waste. Exposed to the elements. Rotting away, just like everything else in this stinking kingdom. What were you expecting? I don't know. I wanted... I wanted to enter this tower, and for everything to be like it was. Glinda at a desk, her nose stuck in a book. It was the only hope I had left. Stupid, stupid. Just a stupid old man. Don't feel sorry for yourself, man. Button. I'd prefer not to think about how high up I am. Books. It was said that Glinda had a library that rivaled the Royal University. There's not much of it left anymore. This looks like one of the keystones Osmo was talking about. Coach? I'm nobody's coach, kid. I'm nobody at all. Just leave me be. I need to be alone. You won't be alone for long, my friend. You helped me. I'll help you. By helping Glinda.
Hmm? What? Oh! Hello there. May I help you? What? No. No. Can't be. Kid, what have you done? I brought her back. No. This... illusion. This isn't funny. Illusion? I'm no illusion, Pinhead. What's gotten into you? Pinhead? Only Glinda called me Pinhead. Exactly. Ergo, I am Glinda. It's logic. Didn't I teach you anything? But you're dead. Yes, yes I am. It's a bit bothersome, I admit. But there's much work to be done. I will need some help, if you are willing. You don't even have to ask. Petra, thank you for freeing me. I know you're on a mission. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. Sweet, we freed Glinda from the Keystone. How do you know my name? I've been reading a book about you. Reading about me? Where? Don't worry. It's not a book you can buy in a shop. This is my book of records. It contains the story of everybody in Oz. I spent 20 years dead. I had lots of time to read. I just came to free you. Nothing more. Me? No, I'm not important. There are far greater things at stake than the fate of one witch. I beg to differ. My dear Pinhead, you put more value on me than anyone should. That's because he wants to sex you up, Pinhead. ghost lady. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. The wizard's full name is Fadric Isaac Norman Henkel Emanuel Ambrose Dix. Or Pinhead for short. I left that name behind a long time ago. But I have to admit, I like hearing it from you. I don't know whether to feel happy or sick. Um, I'd go with the latter. What do you know about the spirit rod? The rod is not of Ozian origin. <laughs> I don't know where it came from, nor how I came to be imprisoned inside. Perhaps I can study it in more detail when my workshop is rebuilt. I'm looking for somebody. I know, your brother. I read about him. Most perplexing. Perplexing? What did your book say? Nothing. There is no mention of your brother, nothing at all, aside from the fact that you are looking for him. That makes no sense. Yes, most unusual. My book never contradicts itself. It is an intriguing puzzle and one that requires further study, but I'm afraid I have more pressing things to attend to first. Sure. The problems of a whole kingdom were much more important than finding my missing baby brother. Or so I keep telling myself. You can't be getting mad at it's people. It's time I left. Not that it hasn't been a blast, but I need to get back to the Emerald City. Of course. Give my regards to Queen Ozma. Mumby. What are you up to, Mumby? Not so fast. Didn't I just defeat you? Quiet, Petra. My quarrel is not with you. Mumby of Gilligan. Leave this place. It does not belong to you. What was that? Was that the sound of moral self-righteousness? Then it must be Glinda. Not even death can stop her from nagging. Mombi, show some sportsmanship. We won fair and square. Fair? I think not. Those were politics, not real magic. They were real enough to defeat you? Beat it, Mombi. Keep some shred of dignity and just fly away. Dignity? Let's see how dignified you look when you are falling to your death. No! Don't worry, Pinhead. I've got you. I won't let you fall. Save the let wizard. Let go of him. Never. I can keep this up as long as you can. That spell won't work here, fool. Gravity is doing most of the work for me. Hey, coach! Catch! Haha, <laughs> the light cake. Another parlor trick? Parlor trick or not, you have failed. Leave my tower. Now. That's it. I wanted to give you a clean death, but now I want you to suffer. Prepare, Wizard of Oz, for a thousand agonies never before experienced by... Hold! What? I can't move! You forget. 
This is Glinda's tower. You held onto it for years and never realized its true purpose. There is power here. Power that is awakening. You took me by surprise before, but now we're ready for you. Impossible! No. Logical. Pinhead, I believe Maneuver 14B is called for. Oh, that takes me back. Yay, we saved the wizard. Not bad. Not bad? She's at least halfway across the deadly desert by now. You've done better. <laughs> wow. What just happened? Maneuver 14B. It's not something you can do alone. It requires two magic users to pull off successfully. Mombi won't be bothering us anytime soon. Where is she? By my calculation, somewhere in the middle of the Nonestic Ocean. Can't she just fly back? Eventually. Witches like her don't like water very much. So she's dead? No, but she's severely weakened. It will take her a long time to get back. By that time, we'll be ready for her. I'll leave the two of you alone. Very well. The door will open for you now. If you ever decide to return, feel free. Yay! Hey, coach. Hey, kid. Good to see you. Let's see if you've gotten to say. How are you holding up? <laughs> Wonderful! I haven't felt this good in years. We're refortifying the tower, and then we're gonna start studying magic again. Magic? But what about the law? Law? This is Glinda. I'd like to see Ozma tell her no. Besides, with the witches coming back, there will be balance. The law will change. I hope you're right. I hope so too. What if someone else becomes champion? You'll have to give up the tower key again. Not if you remain champion. I'm not some thug for hire. I got lucky with Mombi, but I won't be lucky forever. Woot the Wanderer has no authority over me. While I still exist, this tower is mine. You heard the lady. Don't worry about it. Good. I'm glad that's settled. Damn right. How are things with you and Glinda? Couldn't be better, kid. Couldn't be better. But isn't she... you know... Dead? Sure. But we work around that. I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. Yeah, you probably don't want to know. It involves, uh, probably sitting around, you know, doing tantric sex. This guy is closer than I'm normally comfortable with. It's time I left. Not that it hasn't been a blast, but I need to get back to the Emerald City. Of course. Okay. Give my regards to Queen Ozma. It's time to go. So, Ozian, how does it feel to know that your entire society is about to crumble? First of all, the name's Ansel. And do you mind not standing so close? Your breath absolutely stinks. I shall stand where I please. You know the problem with you Fanfasms? You talk too much. We talk too much? You bet, Junior. I hear the guards talking, you know. I know that Petra has freed another witch. Soon, we're gonna have the four-piece set. Then, you guys are in deep trouble. All is going according to plan. <laughs> you would say that. Think what you will, Ozian. Ansel! I shall call you what I please! But know this. Your queen's days are numbered, and so are yours. He really knows how to get under people's skin, that fucking wow, Ansel guy. Performance. If I wasn't chained up, I'd think about applauding. Sweet! Um, that's basically it there now. But we're not entirely done, because we're going to go and we're going to hand in these. How many do we have? Let's see, we got five greens, five reds, four yellows, so Scraps. we got five total to that? pick up now in the next two sections. I've got some buttons for you. You do? Oh, that's dreadful. 
Oh, do I mean fantastic? Oh, it does. Actually, we'll just go past that. So there's Woot. There's a sketch of the wizard. There's some Glinda. A Gump. Rita Hayworth, eh? Sinister Scarecrow. That does look kind of evil. And I think we've yeah we've seen everything else there. Actually, we had some clues. We uh, we had a lot of clues. Uh, may as well. Holy crap. Um, I think it must have reset the clues, the hints. No, it didn't. We just did not look at any of them for a long time. Well, we may as well just uh, show what all the hints are. If you want to just pause it and read them, go ahead. Um, and hopefully it's kind of interesting for you. I don't know, though. I am not even paying attention. So... Goddamn, some of them have a lot and some of them have almost nothing. Wow, there is very detailed information here on exactly how to get past these things. Okay, here we go, free the rope. We're almost on track right now. Almost got to the last bit. Free Glinda. And save the wizard. Here Yay. are some more drawings. Enjoy! And that, I do believe, is for the moment that. So we'll just head back into our office, just relax, maybe we'll sleep on the couch or something. I don't know. But when we return, we will head to, uh, what was it, Winky Country? Yeah, it was Winky Country. We'll head to Winky Country and we'll free the witch there. And then we will move on and uh, see what the final showdown is. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Look out for more very, very soon. See you next time, guys.